Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Uh, peace be upon you all. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, earphone case or uh, headphone uh, pouch or uh, hands-free pouch or uh, anything whatever uh, you wanna you can call it. The <clears throat> if you are a person who don't like your stuff getting all scattered up uh, scattered up in the purse or bag so this one is a very good idea for you and even um, if you have some small change like some coins you can also put your coins into that and you are going to need uh, some yarn in different colors or you can just make it in plain one color and you are going to need a button and uh, that's it and it's very easy to use you just open it and then you can remove all of the stuff you have inside and that's it it's very easy uh, to make so let's get started the yarn i'm going to use is this one it's hank yarn so i can't tell about the ply and uh, yardage or anything like that about the yarn but you can use any type of, type of the yarn this is uh, what you call it cotton yarn so i would recommend to use cotton yarn otherwise you can use any type of the yarn or any um, color of the yarn you want to so we are going to start from here for that what i am going to do is that i am going to that i am going to start with chain four first of all i'm going to join the pink baby pink color of the yarn and then i will make a slip knot oh and i'm using three millimeter crochet hook and then i'm going to make a slip knot and i will crow a chain for one two three and four slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring Oh, and I forgot to mention that this that this is not my own pattern. I saw a picture on the Pinterest, and then when I clicked there, it it's not a written pattern there, but there are some pictures of the round by round, uh, what you call it, uh, stitches. I will share the link to that uh, that uh, I will call it pattern. I will link uh, I will share the link to that pattern in the description box. So if anyone is interested. To go there and um, follow that pattern you guys are more than welcome because it's not my original pattern it's not my pattern so yes you guys can go there and uh, uh, follow that pattern now i will make chain two one and two and this uh, sorry three and this starting chain three counts as our first double crochet i will insert the crochet hook into the middle of this ring we have just made and make a double crochet like that then i will make chain one and make two more double crochets into the same ring one two and two chain one and i am going to repeat this pattern by making two double crochets and chain one four more times we have made twice once and twice i'm going to make four more times two double crochets chain one and then i will resume the video when i am at the end of this round i am at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should end up with six sets of uh, two double crochets and six spaces of chain one so it's one two three four five and this is the last one i have already made chain one so what i will do i will slip stitch into the top of our starting chain this is first sec second and this is the third chain so i am going to slip stitch on the top of that and then i will cut the yarn and secure the end and then I will join the other color 
teal color it's teal color so what i am going to do is you can join it into any of these uh, what you call it uh, uh, chain one space join it there join the color there and then make join the yarn join the teal yarn into any of these chain one spaces like that chain three one two three and this starting chain three counts as our first double crochet so i am going to make one more double crochet chain two one and two and make two more double crochets into the same chain one space one and two and then i will skip these two double crochets this one and this one and i will go direct into next chain one space and i will make two double crochets one and two chain two one and two and two more double crochets into the same chain one space one and two I will repeat this pattern into all of these chain one spaces I am going to I will show once more I will make two double crochets one two chain two and two double crochets more into the same chain one space repeat this pattern I, in all of the chain one spaces i have made three times i have three more to go so i will place two double crochet chain one two double crochets into the next chain one space which is this one and into this one and into this one and then i will resume the video again i am at the end of this round what i will do now is that i will slip stitch one two into the third starting chain like that and then i will cut the yarn and secure the end like that so our second round is ready what i will do now is that i will join this color and uh, i don't know which i think it's called sea green color so I am going to join this color. You can join it into any of these chain two spaces in between these, these sets of these two double crochets. I am going to join it there like that and then make chain three, one, two, three. And this starting chain three counts as our first double crochet. What I will do now is that I will make six more double crochets into the same chain two space. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two three four five six seven if you include the starting chain three then we should have seven double crochets now i will go directly into the next available chain two space and i will make seven double crochets into that one two three four five six and seven i am going to repeat the same pattern by placing one two one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन आई एम गोइंग टू मेक सेवन डबल क्रोशेज इन टू ऑल ऑफ दीज चेन टू स्पेसिस वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क हेयर और ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दीज डबल क्रोशेज इंस्टेड वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क इन टू दीज चेन टू स्पेसिस वी आर गोइंग टू मेक सेवन डबल क्रोशेज इन टू ऑल ऑफ दोज स्पेसिस आई एम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस राउंड एंड वट आई एंड वट आई विल डू नाउ इज दैट आई विल स्लिप स्टिच ऑन टू ऑन दॉप ऑफ आर स्टार्टिंग चेन थ्री दिस इज फर्स्ट चेन दिस इज सेकेंड एंड दिस इज थर्ड सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्लिप स्टिच इन टू द थर्ड चेन एंड देन आई विल खट द यान सो आर थर्ड राउंड इज रेडी वट आई विल डू नाउ इज दैट आई विल जॉइन दिस कलर of the yarn it's blue yarn and what i will do now is that you can join it at anywhere i will join it here into the first uh, double crochet of the set the the set of uh, seven, the, this is the set of seven double crochets i am going to join on the top of our first double crochet like that and i will make chain 3 1 2 Three and this chain three uh, counts as our first double crochet. Then I will make a half double crochet into next double crochet. Like that, I will make one single crochet into next three stitches. One, two. One, two, and three. One half double crochet into the next. One double crochet into the next. Like that. Now what we will do is that we will make a double crochet. but we will make a double crochet here in between these um in into this gap gap between these two sets of double crochet from one round down what we will do wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert the crochet hook into that gap grab the yarn pull up a loop and then make a long double crochet like that make one double crochet into next available double crochet one half double crochet into the next one single crochet into next three sing uh, double crochets one two and three make one half double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next and again we are going to make a double crochet into this gap here we are going to make a double crochet long double crochet like that pull through first two and then second two loops this is the pattern i am going to repeat i will make a double crochet into the next available double crochet half double crochet into the next single crochet into next three stitches one half double crochet into the next double crochet into the next and then one double crochet which we are going to made into this gap repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch in on the top of our starting chain 3 this is first second and this is third chain so i am going to slip stitch on top of that so our round number 4 is complete now and now what we will do is that i will make chain 2 1 and 2 and this chain 2 does not count as our first stitch 
what I will do now is I will make a half double crochet into that one half double crochet into the next two half double crochet into the next three and then two half double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern I'm going to repeat I will make one for uh, one uh, half double crochet into the ne next three stitches one two three and then two half double crochets into the next we are going to do uh, increasing in every fourth uh, stitch so I will make one half double crochet into next three one two and three and then two double half double crochets into the next four and five repeat this pattern all the way to the end make one half double crochet into one two three stitches and then two half double crochet into the next i am at the end of this round what i will do is that i will skip this starting chain two and i will slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet which is this one and then cut the yarn and secure the end so this uh, side is ready we are going to work on this side for that what we are going to do you can use any color of the uh, yarn you want to I am going to use teal color yarn and I will make chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 and then slip stitch into the first chain like that chain 3 1 2 and 3 this does not count as our first double crochet and then make 12 double crochets into this ring one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now we will skip the starting chain three this one and we will slip stitch on the top of our first front uh, first double crochet which is this one so our first round is complete what we are going to do now is we will make chain 3 and again this chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet and then we will make two double crochets into the first double crochet where we have slip stitched and two double crochets into the next one and two and make two double crochets into each and every stitch all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet skip this starting chain three and this is the top of our first double crochet so i'm going to slip stitch into that make chain three one two three and again it does not count as our first double crochet make one double crochet into next two stitches this is where we slip stitched i'm going to make one double crochet into that and then two double crochets into next one and two 
one double crochet into the next and two double crochets into the next one and two repeat this pattern one double crochet into the next and two double crochets into the next slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain three one two three make one double crochet into this stitch and into the next stitch one double crochet one double crochet into the next and two double crochets into the next one and two one double crochet into next two double crochets and then two double crochets into the next one two and then two double crochets into the next one and two repeat this pattern all the way to the end <coughs> slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain one <coughs> and make one single crochet into the first double crochet one single crochet into the next three sorry two two and three and two single crochets into the next one and two one single crochet into next three double crochets and then two into the next one two three and then two into the next four and five repeat this pattern all the way to the end make one single crochet into next one two three double crochets and then two double uh, two single crochets into the next slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet which is this one and then cut the yarn and secure the end like that this is the point you can uh, sew the button on into the center here right side uh, facing towards you <coughs> like that one thing that i don't like about crocheting is attaching the buttons on my crochet work i just hate it i don't know why <laughs> the other thing i don't like about crocheting is when you, when i have to weave in the ends i don't like it so i wait until my project is finished and then i weave in the ends and sometimes i don't even <laughs> it's kind of a little bit embarrassing but sometimes i even don't uh, join the button i don't attach the button and if i give it to someone as a gift sometimes i give them sometimes i give them uh, buttons and i ask them to just please attach it yourself i'm not i just resent attaching the button and i'm not good at all at button and all that stuff secure the end of the thread now second part of our um, pouch or whatever you can call it is ready now what we are going to do now is that i am going to place it like that so that the wrong side wrong side of the pouch is facing wrong side of this side is facing toward me and right side of this is facing towards me I'm going to place it like that and then I will join my pink yarn this one I will join 
right for now i will join only on the upper side of the pouch what i will do now is i will make chain one and make one single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet into next eight uh, stitches i have already made one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now i will make chain 24 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen twenty-four and then I will go back here and this is the next next available sing, uh, uh, stitch here I am going to place a single crochet into that and one single crochet into next eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine now i will place this side when the wrong side is facing me and then i will insert into the next on the top of uh, next stitch and into any of the stitches on the other side like that and then i will make a single crochet single crochet into the next here on the upper side and on the lower side as well like that i will show once more like that i will join both sides <clears throat> by placing a single crochet through the uh, stitch of the upper side and the lower side all the way to the end i am at the end i will slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then cut the yarn secure the end like that and then i will weave in the end <clears throat> just like that and our uh, what you call it pouch is ready like that here it is um, hopefully it was easy to follow I, I always 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 try to be as detailed I as I can be so that there is no confusion because there are some people maybe who are beginner to the crochet right now so that's why uh, I prefer to make my videos in very much details and uh, I try to explain everything while crocheting and also by uh, explaining the uh, what you call it pattern by speaking uh, what you are going to uh, do, do next in your in your uh, what you call it pattern in your um, in your uh, whatever you are making so hopefully it was easy to follow if you like my video please subscribe to my channel if there is any confusion or if there is anything i need to 
improve about my videos please comment below i'm ready to take the critic i'm it's okay to criticize if there is something that need to be imp uh, improved so but here it is hopefully it was easy to follow thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all